Now, I have a very bad habit of checking emails before I go to bed. So last night, I was checking my emails and I came across a question which is asked all the time. And the question is, do you need to learn CSS and HTML in order for you to become a good web designer? So before I answer that question, let's first talk about what is HTML and what is CSS. So HTML is pretty much the language of the web. This is what the browsers interpret in order for that to show you the text and images on your website. And the CSS is the styling. So let's say you want to add color, animations, gradients, and so on. That, that's what CSS does. It adds that styling to your HTML. So back to the question, do you need to learn these two in order for you to be a great designer? Now, before I answer that question, I just want to do a quick demo and show you uh, what you can do and how both of these would work using modern day page builders. So I'm going to switch over here to my computer. So right now I've got two columns here. I'm going to add a text module on each side. Okay, so if you were to add HTML, I mean, uh, HTML and CSS to this, you would uh, do it manually. So let's say I want to add a heading to this, okay? And the heading is going to be heading one. So what you'll need to do is to start typing the code. So this is the code I'm typing in here, okay? And let's say you want to make some text bold. So what you would do is you could highlight, I mean, you could go to the text that you want to make bold. So let's say I'm going to start here. So that's the code. And I am going to end it here. Now, what I'm doing here is just something very, very basic. So I'm not going into advanced stuff. But as you can see, for me to get my changes that, I'm, uh, that I need here, I'm having to type the code manually. Now, I'm going to save this for now, and then I'm going to switch over here, do the same thing, but this time I'm going to stylize this even further using uh, the same technique. So I'm going to search for my text module here. Now I'm going to do uh, the same thing. I'm just going to come over here to this uh, column. Now what I'm going to do here is just pretty much follow what I've done here. I'm going to highlight this text. I'm going to set it to heading one. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same. And then over here, if I want to make anything bold, I can just highlight it. So in this in this example here, um, I'm going to try and do it exactly like how it is on the other side. So now that I've highlighted this text, I'm just going to add B for bold. And as you can see, I'm just highlighting what I need to do and I'm adding all my styles to it. Now, using a page builder, you can take this to the next level. So if I come over here to design, I can actually stylize this text even further. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon and then I am going to customize my text. So first of all, I'm gonna come over here and choose a font. So the font I'm gonna use here is, in fact, I need to use Poppins. Okay, so that's gonna be my font. And uh, the, the color, uh, let's change the color here to red. Okay, and uh, what I'm also going to do here is to add an animation. So I'm gonna come over here to animation and then I am going to slide. And in fact, I'm just going to keep it simple. So that's the slide that I want. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to come back over here, click on text, and then let's take a look here. So you can see here the HTML has been added here, but I'm able to go in and style this. So I want to go a step further as well and add more styling to this. So this is the CSS part that you would have to do manually, okay? So back over here to design, let's say I want to add a background color to this. I'm just going to come over here to background, background color. So I can start adding my color here. So I'm just going to add a light, very light gray, just so that you can see what I'm trying to do here. Okay, now I'll add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to design, spacing, and I'm going to add padding of, let's say, 20 pixels across the board. So the reason why I'm adding 20 pixels is so that, you know, there's enough breathing space here in this rectangle. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. So that's, that's my design here. So as you can see, there's a lot that I can do here uh, with the page builder because I can go in and choose all my settings. And just to give you a, an idea of what we can do here, if I come over here to design, I mean, I can change the, uh, the width here fast. You know, if I can just look at it and see, okay, I need it to be this size. I can, you know, uh, center it. 
I can come over here to spacing, as I've just shown. I can add margins, padding, and so forth. I can even add borders. So let's say I wanted to add a rounded corner here. I could add maybe 10. And as you can see, I've just added rounded corners. And this is happening really, really fast. And over here, if I want to have a border, I can decide what, what size border it is. Let's say it's one pixel. I can just add one pixel there and also add my border color. So here, I'm just going to click on the uh, eyedropper tool. And then I'm just going to add a very light gray there as my border. Now, moving on with this uh, design, I can also come over here to box shadow. If I need to add a shadow to that, as you can see, I'm adding all my shadows. I'm adding all these features really, really fast. Okay, so in fact, I'll get rid of this shadow and uh, use a different style. Okay, so I'm just going to save this and then save the page. Right, so next I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. And you can see that animation, you know, animate through, which is great. Now, what I'm going to do next is I want to see the amount of CSS code that I would need in order for me to type in and make what I've just done work. So I'm going to click here on inspect. And over here, this is the code that I would need to add here. So in fact, let me select it. So you can see here, this is the, um, the CSS and this is the style sheet. So you would need to type in all this in order for what I'm doing here to work. So you can see here my body color, font family, sans, aerial, font size, font weight. So you would have to type all this out in order for you to style it the way you want over here on the other side. Okay. And moving on here, you can see here's some more CSS. Okay, so all the border style, the stretch, so font family as well. So all this is the code that you would need to enter in order for you to achieve this animation. So now let's answer the, uh, the question, do you need CSS and HTML? In my opinion, I would say absolutely not because a lot of page builders now, DV, Beaver Builder, uh, Elementor, they have all these tools that allow you to design your page and make it look the way you want it to look without actually the need of learning CSS and HTML. So it makes the job of animating stuff, adding colors. You know, what I've just done here is just basics. You know, you can even do way more. I mean, you can even style your images as if you were using Photoshop. So if you were to type out all that information in HTML and CSS. This will take you a very, very long time, even if you're a fast, a fast typer. So in my opinion, I don't think there's a need to learn HTML and CSS. However, having said that, if there's specific tweaks that you wanna make on your website, you can still go in and make those changes. So let me show you quickly where you would where you'd need to go to do that. Right, so over here, I'm just gonna go back into my settings, click on advanced. And now you can see here you have custom CSS and you also have CSS ID and classes. So this is where you'd add your CSS IDs and this is where you'd add your um, custom CSS, okay? And it allows you also to enter the CSS uh, specifically to the part that you want to make those changes to. And once you're done with that, I mean, you can just save and, those, and that CSS will be applied onto your page. But for most of you beginners out there that want to design websites, there's no need for you to really go into HTML and CSS. But uh, one thing that I would like to say, though, is it's always good to learn the code and understand what it's doing. But for those of you that want to just build a website fast and uh, this is the, the direction that you want to take, you can be very comfortable to, and um, be confident to build websites without the need for CSS. I'm a perfect example. I don't really know CSS, to be honest. It's something that I've always wanted to learn, but the more these page builders add all these extra features to create awesome looking websites, the more I've became lazy and lazy and lazy, and uh, I haven't had the need to, to design websites using CSS or learning CSS uh, itself. So, most of the things that you need to do in, in order for you to design a website, you don't really need CSS and HTML. But of course, it's a very good skill to have. But at the end of the day, it's about designing an awesome looking website. And this can be achieved using page builders. And the more they're getting much better and much better, you don't really need to learn CSS and HTML. Those are my thoughts. What do you think? Do you think it's necessary to learn CSS and HTML? 
Leave your comments in the comments box below. I'm interested to read those and also learn from some of you guys out there. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.